One, two, three, four, five. Greetings and salutations and welcome to the Polecat Gang. I am the Raven, your host, and here with me I have my questionable biker gang. In order of Discord, Discord listen, first up we have JK Lantern. I'm going to ride on my hog, beat up some... I don't know biker lingo at all. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Isn't that what we're asking every time you tell a life story? That's a fair point. <laughs> Next up, we have Star Princess HLC. Hot boyfriend in leather. Uh... <laughs> Careful with what you say, Star. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's now on the internet forever. <laughs> <laughs> we have any luck. Next up, we have Viola. Hi. <laughs> I woke up like 45 minutes ago, but I'm here! <laughs> Next up, uh, and last but not least, is Yoko. What? What? Who are all these punks? What am I doing here? <laughs> which, which, which of us is like the most authentic biker punk in this crowd, I wonder? <laughs> hmm. I have no idea. Well, given I'm barely an adult, I don't think I'm supposed to be a biker yet. You I mean, know? I've ridden on a motorcycle, and I have a leather vest, so I don't know. I mean, I've ridden, I have a, the leather jacket and the bandana, and I've been down historic Route 66, and I have biker friends. Um, okay, hmm. we're nearly two minutes in, we've done the introductions. Yes, we are not, We are playing Full Fossil Remastered, because we need a break from the, 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 break from the dungeons. We've got the ice cream, it's time to move on. Um... I'm tired. So, begin we shall. Also, that woman was not playing the knife game right. She was not. <laughs> I mean, why would you play the knife game in the first place? It's just Whenever way too dangerous. Asphalt, I, I mean, why do people do the Tide Pod challenge? You idiots. What? Blacked out, the thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up... I saw her she face, she face and I'm bike. a believer. No strings attached. Fix Legend. my bike, fix I my soul. You can't take the road from me. <laughs> yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two. A guy walks in with a piece of asphalt. A beer for me and one for the road. Wow! Oh, <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> listen to my plan. Nice. <laughs> I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. <laughs> That's Christopher Lloyd, what are you doing in this game? And Donald Schwarzenegger. Actually, hey kids, it's Mark Hamill. Yes, it is. <laughs> respect. Why? Thank you, sir. But this lady. Yeah, I was gonna say that this sounded a little Jokerish. It, it is legit, Mark Hamill. Gang of bikers. Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Waters customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Oh, was it? This first oh, was it? Your ears are fine. Yeah. It's what's between them that scares me. Music by the Gone Jackals, everybody. Destruction. Vandals. Didn't so this game, like, set up the basis for Mad Max or something? It, it's very Mad Max-inspired. It ostensibly takes place after a nuclear holocaust. Um, this is actually the first LucasArts game that Tim Schafer directed. He had previously worked on Day of the Tentacle, Maniac Mansion, and, uh... The Monkey Island games. This one, they were basically like, Okay, you've, you've shown what you can do. Go nuts. And, um... The man loves heavy metal and motorcycles. Thus, we get Full Throttle, which came out in 1995. 
And God, is this game amazing. I honestly have no idea how loud this music shall be in the recording. So, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. Yeah, we can hear it just fine. I mean, yeah, we can hear it, but hey, at least you won't risk being taken down, you know? Hmm. Can't talk, I'm rocking. And you have the hair for it. <laughs> yeah, a, a friend of mine actually loves this game solely for the soundtrack. There are games like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I feel like Tris McNeil ought to be in this. <laughs> and Steve Blum. Oh, Steve Blum? Blum. <laughs> he, he gets everywhere. Yeah. Hmm. I also get a very strong Brutal Legend vibe from it, so I suppose Brutal Legend <gasps> was... Brutal Legend, later. that's the other one, yeah. Um, that was another Tim Schafer game, and it was sort of the spiritual successor to this. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, you would see Jack Black in this setting. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Something shiny. It's white. It's disgustingly white. Yeah, you better stay yeah, out here Steve with Jobs. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy. I'm Maurice LaMarche. I was gonna say, it's the brain. Hmm. An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that old eagle? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> ah, yes. I ride with these days. He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. This is a very cinematic yes, game in its setup. You mm. will be well compensated for Not as much as the gig, but... Yeah. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Hired goons? Malcolm Corley's dying now, Dave, that guy's a hired goon. That, that yep. <laughs> I'm gonna... Hold on there, Here. Malcolm. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Ripburger for a little chat. Excellent. I'll rip your burger. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You think he's got a cousin the called Rip Sandwich? He has a few months hmm. to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. Plan nine from outer space. Shareholders meeting with us. It's certainly way. not an no evil plan. The pole yes, it's all legit and nice. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the pole cats on nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. Thud. I guess I couldn't refuse that offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go hit his motorcycle. Bolus, really? That's an unfortunate name. Mm. 
It's as unfortunate as having the name Richard. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll them, boys. Yahoo! Poor Bill, here we come. Darkness. Terrible darkness. Eternal oh, yeah. darkness. Sandy's Requiem. Yeah. Oh, yes, the Ultra's highlights, which was in Monkey Islands, I just never used it. Whoops. It can be useful when you're lost, though. Mm-hmm. Wow. You definitely want to get out of here. Candy Graham for Mongo. Okay, I know for a fact there are two important things you need to do on this screen. I'm not putting my lips on that. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. We need to kick the dumpster. Take that. Repeatedly. <laughs> and that. And that. And that. And and now we have to read the sign on the dumpster. I'm not putting my lips on that. Warning: Do not play in or around dumpster. Do not check dumpster. Do check. not sleep in dumpster. Check. Message of this container for disposal of human remains may be a violation of local health ordinances. Check. All right, we've broken all the laws. Awesome. Sweet. <laughs> We're rebels. No. Actually, um, very frequently, um, the place where I work has a group of bikers do a charity ride for us, and it's really cool. And the kids love it because they love coming out to see the bikes and whatnot. Hmm. Oh, they brought our bike back. That was nice of them. Yeah, they could have smashed it to smithereens. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. Oh, yeah. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Now, I, so, I am that, very attached to those keys. <laughs> well, say some joker took the keys. Open up. <laughs> mm hmm. When all else fails, boot. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. And this reminds me of some of the places you find in Oklahoma along the rural parts of the highway. Um, the monitor doesn't have any control. Of course yeah, you do. It was piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. Looks well, like, like I've... out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well what are you gonna do about it? Hmm. Kick the shit out of you. You know what might look better on your nose? What? Pain. The bar. Oof. Now don't mess around with me. Alright, alright. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. Oh, oh no. Else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man, here are your keys, all right? Quit treating me like a rodeo oh, no. bull. Someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole cats? Hmm. I'd better get moving. He says, facing up the camera in the, in the <laughs> most dramatic effect. There's a lot of that in this game. And now for the part of the game everybody hates.
Time to avoid obstacles. Wow. And indestructible. He says that. Until I uh, hit so. something. He still says that. But they try. Yeah. It's like, what if, what if there's an emu? Hey, ain't you the A number one pole cat hot show? Yeah, then you're in my way. Technically well, not. Doing, this road ain't big enough for the two of us, cowboy. I don't know, it seems to be plenty of space. Is there already a social distancing? Thing in the game, um, when you're riding along randomly, there will be fight sequences. They're a pain in the butt to control, they're a pain in the butt to find, and they're... Oh, that's bad. They're necessary to solve some puzzles later. We have the best unicycle ever. <laughs> you look so panicked! <laughs> this back is on fire! So Spoilers. this is why they this is what they meant by looking like an accident. Yep. Hmm. And this is not the last time in the game you'll catch on fire. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Cole died. No, you say the driving se the riding sex is on the worst bit. That everyone hates. Uh this one sex of this worse. Near the end. A couple of while before we get there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I think I remember what you're talking about. Um, been a while. Hello. It's the paparazzi. Man, this is I have to protect my image. <laughs> now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Charming. Uh, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. But can they fix a broken heart? Oof. You say that. No, oh, that might be scary to wake up to. Are you my oh. mummy? What are you? <laughs> I'm a mechanic. And I'm apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like Ooh. what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too nope. hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. Hey, Mo! Same deal. Hmm. And it's Wonder why. Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now, you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. I think of it as a renegade. Oh, uh, this, this is funny for reasons. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer, we did nothing but restore this old yeah. hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. No toasters. toasters. You live in this town? Howdy, doodly do! Well, Shut up! The parts left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more <laughs> concerned with me than your bike. You didn't happen to see a toaster wandering around with an electric blanket, a vacuum, a radio, and a lamp, did you? <laughs> <laughs> it looks better than it did, but it's oh, the references! Now. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone well, stole my welding me. torch. Can <laughs> you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel, and I don't have any. I remember getting the gas was a pain in the butt. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any gas. That's one of the easier things I think. 
Well, like, it's easy once you work out precisely what to do. Um, oh, yeah, it's a like, to be wanted to figure that one out. Oh, good, yeah. you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. Charmin. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just <laughs> looking for some nice roadside disaster photos, and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not Dracula. Blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, uh, I, I. Yeah. This is hard for me. I, I need. Come on, man, spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? <gasps> I've got to stop Ew. this ambush. Yeah. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm with our wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Smart Joy ass. for that. <laughs> Wait for it. Well. Oh, he lied. What a bitch. Yep. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. It's perfectly <laughs> fine. That's the last <laughs> machine of her. It's empty. Aw. Too bad we can't take that as a weapon or something. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should mention weapons. Uh, <laughs> uh... Oh? What weapons are a thing? Oh, yes. That is the annoying bit of the major combat section. Yeah. I know in older editions of the game there was a way to cheat. I don't remember what it is. It's like you hit a specific button and it's auto win. Well, we're talking about some very subcode wiring. I know this still works for the other section. Mm -hmm. I, I know about because I checked. I also won't be doing Lots, this. Flimsy looking. Candy Graham. Who's out there? I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. I am not a crook. Hey! You say that, but you didn't kind of look like Richard Nixon. Here, buddy. <laughs> I don't got time to waste <laughs> on bums like you. Well, flimsy. I fixed your door. This view defines <laughs> true beauty. I, I love how, like, several of the solutions to the problems in this game are just violence. Okay. <laughs> Wee. I hope he's not trying no. to bring these to life or anything like that. What's wrong? And then we end up in Fallout. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. I see it's unlocked. Carry the torch. Just lying around. A pair of forks, <laughs> gas, and we're set. The junkyard. Oh, uh, no, we need something else first. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> but I know we're gonna fetch this. I couldn't break that lock. I couldn't break that lock. Oh, well, you could try. Yeah, come on, man. You're a tough biker dude. Hello. 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 <laughs> How convenient for it to be right there. Oh, yeah. Jill Valentine's got nothing on me. I'm the master of locking. I'm, I'm the only one MacGyver. 
I've taken five levels of rogue. Wait, what? <laughs> you say that to the one person who actually has a level five rogue. <laughs> Security alarm, she might want to get out of there. There's this... Yeah, no, I I remember what you're doing here, and I just don't remember the specific spot. Yeah. You're gonna have a problem, man. Oh, oh no, he's... He's the fuss. Maybe nobody's there. Well, who set off the alarm, Floyd? Maybe somebody's just fooling with us. Uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. So, so the way this puzzle is set up, this is a tower full of gas. And um, you're designed to think, oh, you have to steal the gas from the tower. Yeah, I know. If I'm remembering right... <laughs> So many methods I tried to just get up that tower and this is the solution. Oh, yep. you, you have to put your lips on it. Yep. Hey. Oh, did you saw the section. It's him. Get it. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around. That's the other a waste side of gas, man. Yeah. Where'd he go? It's fine. Gas prices are at like literally negative value right now. True. Mm-hmm. You can't think of that much since he's still flying. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just sort of. New forks and we're on the road. <laughs> we got it adjacent to the gas tower. Yeah, we were <laughs> in the vicinity. I need a mint. I have actually had to do that, but not with gas tanks. Um. I had to do it when, I had to do it when we were like refilling a fish tank at some point. Ooh. Ugh. Ooh. Now, before trying to get through here is, how do we get the chain? Uh, junk. The chain to stay so we can get through the door. That ain't the thing as you just seen. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, you have just noticed. Yes, there's a dog in this place. Puppy. They say no puppy. Jump. Doggo. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. Just don't let the dog see you in your car. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, mud. Oh, Fine, right. what are you doing to that car? You have to <laughs> do the, uh... <laughs> oh, uh... look! It's a crane game. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is no desert to death. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have to use an organ to open a lock. <laughs> All of this just to not be bothered by the dog. Yep. Look, that dog's vicious. It it's mm -hmm. it is angry doggo. It is Cujo. It's he's mad because they cancelled Futurama. <laughs> they cancelled Futurama, which is good, and then brought it back for a few series that just didn't live up to the yep. original series. Oh look, fork. Hmm, yeah. fork. <clears throat> Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Oh, oh that's ha. it. Wait outside for a minute. But what about the sporks? I'm working on a surprise. We do not speak about the sporks. <laughs> I'm not Why? You got a problem right with the sporks? I've been meaning to ask you. 
<laughs> What's this picture of? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Okay. Mink are vicious. <laughs> now I'm mm. out of here. I hate surprises. I'm now thinking back to that one episode right, of the Golden Girls goes. where they tried to raise some. Oh, dear God. <laughs> and then one, the... The females were too old to breed, and two, the males were gay. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash. I, I feel like that day. came up with like oh, some of the surprise? cast in the oh, Golden just Girls. Average every day for <laughs> destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Hmm. Now, can I try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular Just customers. beat it. Bye, Just mo. beat it. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Oh, it's now probably closed. <laughs> Boom. There he goes. So, so she has connection with a biker gang that has, like, epic rocket jets, and she's good with bikes. Hmm. Hmm. I think he hmm. might have a bit of a flame for her, though. <laughs> yeah, Thank talk you, to the hawks. Uh, there's a thing I can talk about, but I'm not going to until the end of the game. <laughs> All uh -oh. right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Nope. Keep looking. Huh. Okay, but which one of you is an ass? <laughs> All of them. Though it not be writ down, do not forget that I am an ass. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how we get past them. Also, just just check out the just check out this arc. It's not that much different from the vigil, even me massive case of shadows. You glorious Ooh. shadows. Touch. Boop. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. The real names are Biggs and Wedge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still need to dive into Final Fantasy VI. <clears throat> I mean, you know, there's the seventh that just got a remake. Th there is, but I don't have a means of playing that. Yeah. Fair. It's not on PC yet. Nope. No. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. Yep. We're in it. Yep. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blow my gasket, I surely was thankful till no. I head for the this, sky this sounds suspiciously above. like, um, <laughs> Conroy Bumpus from Sam and Max. Which is on the books to be you. done after, after this or whatever comes next. Like ambush somebody. I have a plot thickens. Mark oh. Hamill's the bad guy. I didn't see that coming. You should Neither did Corley. In those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, uh -oh. look what I found <laughs> in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. Wait, what? But don't he has a family? That camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Oof. Corley. Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Oh, that ain't pretty. Just like him to hit a no. man when his flies down. 
Rip Burger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Crawley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. Not, Not minivans! minivans. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <laughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. Daughter? daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Reaper genius. When she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. Marine? Yep. <laughs> and he I should have seen this coming. Uh oh. Oh no, he's got a silencer. Oh no. He really does look like a Bond villain. Mm. He does. Rip Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. I think she's fine. Mm. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this uh. guy work for? Holy motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip. But I think that pile is boss. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? I mean, I am the brain. There's Moe's shack. <laughs> but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat them here. One second thought. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I beat anyone anywhere. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. You know, I never told the cars here would look in here. This is just about because there's nothing in here. Well, okay. The only thing that mattered in there was Mo, and now she's gone. Yes. Mew. And away we go. We gotta go new. We gotta go new. Gotta go new. Born to be wild. <laughs> I like smoking lightning. Heavy metal oh, thunder. So much for returning okay. to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Now, there's nothing left here. <coughs> so maybe, the... maybe... Maybe there's something left at the bar. Yes. Maybe. No. No. Am I? This sucker's mine. <laughs> Yoink. Big ass truck. Look, I really need a ride. Look, <laughs> I really need a ride. Uh, Bad truck. Boot. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Secret. Once again, our top story tonight. Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have Give arrested me the mercy a thing? notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. Oh dear. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblock we are large. Set up along Highway 9 in an <laughs> effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. 
I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Uh, He's only accessory. That reminds me of a Futurama thing. Guess what you're all accessories do! <laughs> he doesn't know I mean, would you be if you were constantly stabbing yourself with a knife? Yeah. No. <laughs> you to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Yes. Yes. Lost. They're not letting <laughs> uh, but you, do that. You sound right awful away. similar. To... They turned me around. Said police business. Jim Farley. Pigs. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quohog. Ah, oh, so that's his name. <laughs> also, yes, that is a, bit, a mini game you can do. I'm not gonna do it because it's pointless. And also hey. super dangerous. Yes. Don't actually do the knife game, folks. No. Ben, no time to talk. You know, it's Wait, stinking. Why don't we tell her the name? Remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me. Get my editor. And the bad part would be... <laughs> Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. Just one. Think you got enough of them? My career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my You're only hope. hope. God, oh, don't worry. damn it. I owe you one. <laughs> if Miranda's Sorry, I'm not Luke Skywalker. That could be Miranda's He's the camera, murderer. So, but then, who's got the film? <laughs> Gee, I wonder who's got the film. Achievement unlocked, a new hope. Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, LucasArts, I love you. Hey, you gotta get those reference out there. Yep. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Mm -hmm. Down highway well, now, saw a mink, not the same thing. Roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap. Mm, and sell it to school mink meat. <laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're Literally. riding well, the engine shit. compartment. Well, shit. The engine compartment. <laughs> hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. And the fertilizer powder actually is important. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Especially when you need them. Mm. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm with the feds, chump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Nice. Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> Stop moving. Hang on. Problem with your truck? He, he got out of it, got in the front. Yeah. <laughs> 
loose holes and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's hmm. right over there. Clearly well, trustworthy. Nice knowing you. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know. Uh-oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Oh, no. Now, he says that. Have I got to leave that for next time? It's a uh, nice clo closing point. Yeah. We've had an mm -hmm. introduction to the characters. We've got a nice setup for what's going on. This is okay. going to be a pretty short LP, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but at least we know the the, the game story pretty mm -hmm. forward. I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I do legit love this game, so... Find my daughter! Find Marine! Oh, okay. N no big plot revelation at the end of the game right now, okay? <laughs> Good, thanks. <laughs> so yes, this has been me, the Raven, your host. That has been them. Then my crew being JK yes. Lantern, Star Princess HLC, Viola and Yoko. Yes, it's us. Wee. Yes. Yar <laughs> wait, wrong wrong aesthetic. <laughs> Then maybe I should put this grog away. Is it new grog or original? It's the tuck of melting. <laughs> uh, so, I'll yeah. take eight. <laughs> so, yes, this has been nice for now. We shall return next time. Peace out, people. Take care. Bye-bye. Be safe and wash your hands. <laughs>